in this video we shall see conversion from primal to dual so this is the example given here minimum z equals to 3x1 and the conditions where x1 x2 is greater than equals to 0 and x3 is unrestricted and the third constraint is equals so first step is to convert to standard form of primal uh, like we do in simplex table so here the same minimization function will stay as minimization z equals to 3x1 plus 5x2 plus 6x3 such that the constraints x1 plus 4x2 plus 6x3 is less than equals to means slack variable is needed plus s1 is equals to 5 and here 0 s1 so that the function does not change objective function then second constraint 2x1 plus 3x2 plus 5x3 minus s2 plus a1 according to the big m method is equals to 4 plus 0 s2 minimization therefore plus m a1 next third constraint 3x1 plus x2 plus 7x3 uh, here it is given equal to means only plus a2 is equals to 3 here plus m a2 and the constraints non-negativity constraint is x1 x2 x3 s1 s2 a1 a2 all are greater than equals to 0 now from standard primal form we will derive the dual form the derivation rules are if the function is maximization then it will become minimization if it is minimization then it will become maximization if this was prime and this is dual for dual if the function is minimization then all the conditions will be greater than equal to if it is maximization then all the conditions will be less than equal to and okay Till now this much rules let us start converting minimum will be so for converting minimum will be here maximum z will become omega or w is equals to suppose this constraint is for y1 variable this is for y2 variable this is for y3 variable here number of constraints is equals to number of variables in dual dual problem and number of variables in primal is equals to number of constraints in dual so suppose this is y1 y2 and y3 these are the dual variables then 5y1 5y1 plus 4y2 plus 3y3 means RHS of the constraints in primal will be the coefficients in the objective function for the dual this much such that such that now particularly for x1 for here coefficient is 1 1 y 1 2 y 2 3 y 3 1 y 1 plus 2 y 2 plus 3 y 3 for maximum it is less than equals to the objective function here that is 3 similarly again for the second constraint we will see 4 3 1 y1 y2 y3 all positive 
is less than equals to second for x2 we were seeing so for x2 it is 5 this is 5 similarly for third constant it is 6 5 7 6 plus 5 plus 7 y1 y2 y3 is less than equals to because for maximization we do less than equals to for x3 it is 6 similarly again we will see for s1 for s1 here only y1 is available so y1 for maximum it is less than equals to and coefficient of s1 is 0 so here 0 and similarly for s2 coefficient is minus y2 because here negative is there so minus 1 into y2 or minus y2 is less than equals to 0 less than equals to because in maximum we do less than equals to this implies y2 is greater than equals to 0 also for s1 s2 it is done for m a1 a1 is for y2 means means here 1 into y2 is less than equals to m or y2 is less than equals to m suppose suppose m is infinity and then from these two relations we can see that y2 is ranging from 0 to infinity so we can say that y2 is always greater than equals to 0 again y3 y3 and m y3 is less than equals to m means and this is the only one condition so y3 can be less than m from 0 to minus m anything so we can say that y3 is unrestricted so this is the whole dual form where y1 is less than equals to 0 y2 is greater than equals to 0 and y3 is unrestricted we can also uh, cross check because y3 is unrestricted and in the primal and in the question we have a equal to um, constraint